All right. So how do you propose on starting this one? Um, draw a free, a free uh, body diagram for A. Okay. So Is that it? Mm -hmm. your free, okay, so what what is a free body diagram for A look like? Um, tension to the right and then for static friction, which is smaller than the wait, actually I'm going to Oh, is that rest? I think static friction would be on here. I think you're correct. Right? Until it starts moving, then it becomes kinetic. Yeah. Yeah, but I was about to say that it was uh, smaller than T. Correct, because it's it not moving. the same size. Yeah, so this is for block A. Do we need to draw any other free body mm -hmm. diagrams? Um. Uh, I don't think so, since we're only focused on A. So for this part, what do we need to f do? Um, How do we find? Um, write the, the F, F of X um, and F of Y. Mm, don't we know that there is a formula for F sub S? What is that? Mu S um, normal. Good. And because it's not moving, we know that we are smaller than this. Okay. Now, what? Um, just find the normal which is equal to the weight good because it's and not moving, moving we can do some of the forces in the y is going to be equal to the normal minus the weight which is equal to zero so the normal is equal to the weight which is just m times g so that would be 60 newtons that was given right so then f sub s mm -hmm. is less than mu sub s times n so less than 0 0.25 times 60 newtons. Are you okay with that? Times, times gravity. Mm, no, because we have 60 newtons is already incorporated gravity. Oh, okay. It didn't say 60 grams then you would, or kilograms, then you would have multiplied by gravity. You understand? Okay. Yeah. So F sub S has to be less than 15 newtons if you did that on your calculator. Okay. Any questions there? Mm, it can be less than or equal to, right? Yeah. Less than, it holds it in place. Well, it yeah. still hasn't, the threshold hasn't been exceeded yet. 